Now, it's not very often I'm excited by new club releases, but today I uh, kind of am. Let's do it, and let's do it now. Hi everyone, my name's James Robinson and welcome to this YouTube channel. Yes, it is finally time, I say finally, we've not really been waiting that long, but it is time for the brand new Mizuno 221, 223 and, you guessed it, 225 irons. Guys, I've been playing Mizuno irons for that long, I can't really remember what I was using before I was playing Mizuno irons. I think it was some blades that I really had no use in playing with. But today I'm going to test the six irons in the brand new 2022, how have we got there yet, Mizuno irons and I can't wait to do it. Guys, I've got full sets of these clubs so if you do want to see full reviews of the brand new Mizuno 221s, 223s and 225s, make sure you hit that subscribe button below so you don't miss it. We will have these in Fox's hands, we will have these in Spriggs's hand. Fox is actually sat down there. All right. All right. Right, so we're going to kick things off with what I think is the one that looks the most appetising, the one that looks the most friendly, the one that looks... I'm not going to lie, mate, this will probably be yours. <laughs> These are the Mizuno 225s, guys. They're a hollow body construction, and they actually look incredibly blade-like. Mizuno even say that from every angle, these look like a blade, which most people want, or a lot of people want. What would you want? Comment below. So as you can imagine, these are a replacement for the Mizuno HMB irons, but they're a little bit more slimmer which is what I was hoping to be as a replacement for the Mizuno HMB irons. But anyway, so they are a little bit slimmer, they look a little bit sexier, but they're supposed to be jam-packed full of the same performance. So for me, a six iron, I would usually play around 180, maybe 185 for a club of this loft. I'll get into the lofts in a minute because they're, um, they're a little bit different, as you can imagine. So how far can we hit the 225 irons? Six iron. Oh wow. Oh yes please. Is it even fading back? That is a 188 carry and a 201 yard total. I mean it's only spinning at 4,600 but we can't have really... What? 188. Fair to say I quite enjoyed that. It was a good swing but um, very very nice. So guys the Mizuno Pro, Mizuno Pro it says on there, look at that. Doesn't just say Mizuno, Mizuno Pro on that toe. That rhymed. I'm watching way too much Alex Etches, aren't I there? The Mizuno Pro 225 is made from a grain flow forged 4135 chrome oly face and neck. That's in two to eight iron. Yes, two to eight iron. It is 0.2 millimeters thinner across the face than the MP20 HMB. And COR, that means coefficient of restitution for those of you who don't know, is said to be 0.04 higher. Don't really know what that means, but I presume it's better. It must be milliseconds. Right, let's go again. We're going to hit kind of half a dozen with each, and I'm going to give you some feedback on how these feel and perform. That's an other, that is on the line as well. That's got to be on the line. Oh, it's fading. 187. So if you're looking for consistency, that's something which so many people do look for when buying new irons. And I've got to say, I really enjoyed that. 186 it was. Keep getting it one off. Really, really nice feel as well. I think when you are testing Mizuno irons, you do definitely know it. That's going to, that's going to be a bit further, I think. All these are going to be on the green though. That's, wow, that was 190 carry. 193 yards carry. I quite enjoyed that. Now, I don't think the 223 or the 221 will maybe go that far. There's a reason why I've left 221 to the end. I'll tell you that closer to the end. So although Mizuno have made the 225 way sexier than the HMB, it's still jam-packed full of technology. They do feature a laser-welded GFF 4135 chromoly face and neck, a 413 stainless steel back, 28.5 grams of tungsten back weight in, and the a has no tungsten for a smoother transition. The pitching wedge through to the gap wedge, Yes, you can get a gap wedge in the 225s. Has a laser welded partially hollow construction, a GFF HD 1025 E body, and a 17 4 backplate. Not gonna lie, guys, I have no idea what that means, but I thought I'd tell you anyway. Let's go one more 225 and try not to completely ruin this dispersion. Oh, 
Ah, oh, we have. We have. I don't mind that as a misto high, right? Introducing the Mizuno Pro 223 iron. How good does that look? Now, this is the iron that is supposed to be targeted at Tor Pros, and you can really see that. The top line is way thinner than the 225. The blade length is way shorter. The sole is a lot smaller, but it's still got that bit of technology in it. Let's see how far this can go. So we averaged 188 yards carry with the 225. I think with this 223, 185, is probably a good average. Although that is a very solid start. How far is that going to be? That's got to be up there. Oh, it's a 180. That's not as far. But then the 223 iron does feature one degree more loft as standard in 28 as opposed to 27. And I'll just touch on it now. The blade, the 221, 30 degrees. But that's uh, quite comparable with blade irons from the past. And we will very much worry about that when we get there. I must admit, I didn't think the 223 would be for me. Looking down at it, it might not be, but for other reasons. It actually looks really, really small. And I dread to think what the 221 is going to look like. Especially in the four ends. Like I said, we've got full sets to test. That felt great again. It's still going to be just short. I think that was a good 186, though. And the consistency level is still there. 185, one yard off again. Let's go again with this 223. Oh, I've pulled that. Ah, that's not very good. I can't help but think with the 225, that would be better. It would be more online. That's the worst shot of the day so far. Distance wise, it was fine. We do have a perimeter weight in here, as you can see, to help with those off center hits. And the 223 also features a face that is 0.2 millimeters thinner than the Mizuno JPX 921 forged. Mizuno claimed that it is a short, compact appearance, shrewdly believed to deliver the appearance of a thinner top edge and shorter head length whilst giving you that element of workability. Um, we definitely worked that last one. That is one of the best swings I've put on something all year. The feel behind these is astronomically good. Very good, and that was nearly a 190 carry with a six iron. You can't really call it a bladed six iron, but you can call it, 188 yards you can call it, but you can definitely call it a tour inspired iron. The 223 is smaller than its predecessor, the MP20 MMC, most notably in the scoring irons. So we're not even in the scoring irons yet. I'll throw a picture on screen now of the pitching wedge and the eight iron so you can see that. These things do look rather sexy and these might actually be the clubs that get the blades out of the bag of the people who shouldn't really be using blades, like um, me. So these irons are forged at Hiroshima in Japan, one piece grain flow forged, at Mizuno's iconic factory in Hiroshima. They still have the soft copper underlay. As you might imagine, they feature a forged chromoly with flow micro slot in the 47 iron. And as already mentioned, they are built for distance yet sized for tour, which I think is fair to say. Right, last shot with these, then it's what you've all been waiting for, guys. It is the 221, the bladed iron. I do feel quite nice and loose actually, but I can't see, I can't see the blade going more than probably 180 on a 30 degree loft. I mean, again, that is so good. I must admit, I've had 10 shots so far, and only two of them I'm disappointed with. Right, let's go blade, and let's go 221. Now, as you can imagine, with a Mizuno blade, a lot of it's about appearance, a lot of it is about looks. So the technology behind the 221 isn't really, it's more a distributional thing. It's not really a technological thing. As you can see, we have a lot of weight in there behind the impact zone that's been strategically moved from the heel area into what Mizuno called the muscle pad. So that's the area behind where the ball is struck. And that's designed to give a slightly muted acoustic sound, which was tested blindly. No idea how you do that, because I could not try and hit this with anything other than my eyes wide open. Right guys, comment below, how far is this gonna go? Could we game these? This looks sexy and very, 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 very thin. Very thin. I mean, I've absolutely ripped it. And this is what happens. This is exactly what, but look how short this is. That's, that's a 175. And I felt like I hit that good. But usually when I test blades, I do hit them well. And then I think, oh, the spin rate's good. So we'll put them in the bag. 
not what you should do. And you see, basically, what Mizuno have tried to do with this iron is make it as scary and as thin as possible. So we basically added some mass and weight here and stripped it from everywhere else. If you compare it to an MP20 MB, it even has a shorter, more compact appearance than that, which is slightly ridiculous. I know I gamed the MBs for a while and I still have a set at home. And I'm not gonna lie, guys, the reason I stopped using them wasn't because they didn't have a compact enough appearance. A compact enough appearance. So that is why a few of my girlfriends left me now. But that's fine, that's fine. Right. Do I leave that in? I'll tell Laura before and ask her. I mean, that's a delightful shot. Please be like 185, 183. 183, but still 194 total. That's not bad. Spinning at 5,099. So generally, I spin it quite low. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it, James. Don't do it. Just because you've hit two good shots with a blade doesn't mean... Oh, they're going in the bag. They've got to. That's the straightest one, so... Sh 185 again. You see, now, the issue is... I did have a warm-up before this video, so I can't say that I'm hitting it better now but I would worry for my fingers and for my playing partners if I didn't strike this incredibly well, especially at the moment with it being December. Like that, ow. Why did I even say it? That's like a one, 175. So usually for me a seven iron's 165 and that's what I would work off. I would imagine with the 225 and the 223, I may gain distance with even the seven iron. Last shot of the test, and if this carries 190, we'll put it in the bag. That doesn't make sense. Oh, what do you mean looking for the ball? I hit it that fast. That fast it didn't pick it up. I've given it absolutely everything. <laughs> How far? Ooh. It was a 184. So guys, that is a test of the brand new Mizuno 2022 221, 223 and 225 irons. How do they compare in the mid irons? Guys, remember, I've got the full sets of these. I can't wait to get them out on the golf course and test them with everybody else from the team as well. But how do these compare? Let's take a look. So dispersion wise, I'm not going to lie, that last one was with the blade, like the one before it. Apart from that, I'm really happy with all of those. Like you could throw a blanket over them pretty much. You can see the blade ones at the end here and that top one is definitely a 225. What about distance and numbers? So if I show you these average distances to start with, you can probably imagine what order they are in. And I'm surprised actually that this one is so close to this one because the 225 is the bottom number, 223 is the middle number, 221 is the top number. So ball speed, you can see there's a huge difference there between 225 and 221, and I would expect that purely because of the makeup of the club. Launch, totally different. However, the 221 launched exactly the same as the 223. Spin, that's pretty much what I would expect, it, although the 223 was a little bit of a low spinner there for me. That's a little bit naughty. The 225 was actually a better spin for me there, and that's actually pretty good. Side angle, look at that. That's pretty good, isn't it? I'm okay with that. And distances, as we said, I'm still happy with the 180 carry really for a bladed 6 iron because for me, my 7 iron would be going 165 and it's all about your gap in. We start to get to the 185s and the 188s, total 200 yards with a 6 iron. And that, I imagine, is pretty much exactly what Mizuno would want from these irons for you, for me, for Foxy, for anyone. They have a distance iron, they have a nice mid iron that tall players might use that still goes a nice long way and still has that element of forgiveness, but with workability and a bladed iron that is downright filthy, looks fantastic, looks beautiful, but we, most of us should probably stay well away from it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really have enjoyed that. Huge thanks to the guys at Woolly Park for allowing us to use the simulator room. It is available for bookings for days like today because it's awful outside. So if you're in the area, come and check it out. Guys, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Mizuno iron content. And apart from that, I can't wait to see you all exactly the same. It's not the same time tomorrow. It's one o'clock. The embargo is two o'clock. One o'clock tomorrow. Don't be late.